Hey, what's up guys? It's Benny here and welcome to a brand new series I'm going to be doing during Call of Duty Ghost, which is going to be a KM strike or a chem, uh, whatever you guys want to call it, so, uh, with every single gun in the game. Because I've always done, I've, I've always kind of intended on doing this and I'll probably like develop it in, later into the game. It's like a double chem with every gun uh, and so forth. And so maybe, maybe maybe in the future, a triple chem with every gun. See how, see how we go anyway. Um, but anyway, I'm using the SC2010, which has been my favorite assault rifle so far. It's the gun that I've used the most. Um, just because I was really comfortable with it after Eurogamer. And it's watching gameplays back. It's really funny. I'm entering rooms like a SWAT man. I'm like going in. Check the corners. Check the corners. Because in this game, you die so fast. And like the map Stonehaven, which I'm playing on, um, I, personally, it's not my favorite map. Because I think it's too big for 6v6. There's a castle. And then there's grounds. And like the grounds is enough for a map not without the castle. And the players are dotted everywhere. So there's points in the game where it can be really slow paced. And you can be running around for a minute without finding anyone. But when you do get those really close engagements which mainly from what I've noticed happen around the sea flag because everyone kind of just piles in there and there's like some really nice like gunfight positions as like the houses and stuff like that and I find it really plays really well around the sea flag area but suddenly when you start going to the castle a flag it's like you're going on a trek it's you just feel as if you're traveling halfway across the world but I managed to get a chem strike on it which was my second chem um, uh, pre-release which I was really happy with because chem strikes pre-release were a nightmare like they every single player was one of those players who'd gone out of their way to try to get a copy of the game early um, and that which kind of leads to him being a generally a person a player that puts a lot more time into the game because when, when you want to get a game early, you're like, I want to play this game. I love this game so much or whatever. Um, you, you play, they tend to play it a lot. Um, personally, as you can see, guys, I'm using the Assault Streaks. I do not think the Helo Pilot is very good at all because there's spawn protection in the game. Um, like in Black Ops 2, when you had the uh, Warship or anything like that, you could get kills upon kills upon kills. Once you get them in the spawn protection, you can get maybe well, you can maybe get 12 kills or something like that with the Helo Pilot tops. So that's the best I've managed to get so far. This 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 particular Helo Pilot didn't do very well. I think in the entire game, I end up going 66 for six. Um, like as I doubled the, ever since like yesterday when the game went public, um, and everyone's like. It, double chems have already been started to get dropped uh, and stuff like this uh, and I, I, I'm really enjoying Call of Duty Ghosts and like I can't wait to kind of like adapt and learn everything um, and like start getting a better understanding of the maps because that's when you're going to start seeing the really fast play like this game is a lot slower pace which is what I'm going to do in my in my series that I'll be uploading tomorrow how do I get better at Call of Duty Ghosts um, it will uh, help you kind of like understand the steps you need because from previous Call of Duties to this like literally if you go on this game right and uh, to go with the mentality of a previous Call of Duty like let's run out there and kill everyone you're gonna get destroyed like it's, it's not even gonna be like it's just like you're gonna get like destroyed like that that is that is just the bottom line like I I went into that mentality first I was like let's go in here and run around like my my play style compared to a lot of other players and youtubers and stuff like that is is very different I, I tend to take a slower more like um, questionable approach I suppose like more kind of like subtle approach I, I like to check everything that's going on keep the keep the gunfight to a long range because I know that I my, one of my, my strong points in my play particularly um, is is my like kind of my shot I, I've got quite a good shot like while my rushing skills are not as good as someone like Insomnolus who's an absolute beast uh, at, at rushing and like I, I always tend to play to your strengths like I personally am an AR player um, and I, I always try to control the engagement so also use the sound, but I'll go into more detail on that with my how to get better at Call of Duty Ghost series. It'll be a, like a short series, just helping you guys out. My class video that was meant to go up last night, I scheduled it wrong. Will be up tonight. All right. That, that I was like, I, I got up in the morning, going, oh, I wonder how my video did. And I was, I was like, it's not uploaded. I'm like, damn you. Um, but yeah. Anyway, back onto the gameplay. Trinity rockets, not my favorite. It's like it, it's it was supposed to be like a souped up. Predator missile. Uh, it might be better once we get the hang of it and stuff like that. But it's it's a bit weird. Like I don't know how those rockets. It's like supposed to be like smart guided rockets, and like I just don't. They don't always work. Is what I'm thinking. I might just use it as one big giant cluster bomb and just like choose someone on that map. So I'm sorry, soul on the map, and just go right. I'm fine for three rockets to use, son, and just blow them to smithereens. Uh, but anyway, guys, because I want to know because I'm actually coming up to the end of uh, this this particular gun streak, which is which is awesome. Like because I, I I cut a little bit out because there was a bit of a point 
point in this game where I was like, okay, we are waiting around, because I was like hang, hanging around in that back bit, because like, all, all I could hear on my headphones was people walking around, and there's like three different points coming at me, and I'm like, like here, right here, I'm like, I can hear people, and I was like, no, I am not moving out of my hole, I am staying in my hermit hole. Finally moved out, and I got, went towards getting a streak. But anyway, guys, um, tonight there will be a my class video up, I'll probably upload that about 10pm, 11pm GMT for you guys, this of course will be up at 6pm. Um, and uh, like that'll be my general schedule. I'll be always getting a video up at 6 p.m. for you guys, which is really cool. Because uh, like I, I've never stuck to a schedule. Like my my, my kind of s upload schedule is being like I kind of feel like uploading, and especially with my internet connection, it is n damn near impossible to keep to a schedule. But I'm go I'm going to do it. I I'm, I'm determined to be organised for once. Like that is one of my very weak points. I am the world the most. I, I, well, to be honest, I say I, I organize chaos is like kind of what I kind of go with, but no one ever believes me. But guys, there is the KM site. I just love watching this thing blow up just because it's like, what I'm, I'm so happy about is it doesn't put all that smoke in your screen where you couldn't see for like 30 seconds like the Marab did. But guys, I'll see you on my next video. Let me know what you thought in the comment section and I will get faster and faster chems as the weeks goes on. See you guys next time.